Today we'll see three examples with absolutely stunning and unexpected performance. In late 2013, Swedish player Naniva was facing Hyun in the semi-finals of a very prestigious premier tournament called I Am New York. He was the only foreign player who could show an incredible skill level alongside even GSL legends. You can check my full story on him here, and he was truly great. However, he had one small weakness. Naniva was quite a moody player, who often had some issues with other players and even some organizations and teams. For example, once he refused to play a tournament match just because he was already eliminated, showing poor sportsmanship. And what? <laughs> you guys are gonna find out in just a second the craziness that is about to happen. Seven pro brushing. And he's gone straight cross positions. He he knows this game doesn't matter. Okay, well, to finish off the last in history, wow. Naniwa beat Nesty in the MLG Providence winners bracket as well. So there's a lot of history here, but it doesn't matter because Naniwa knows it's a throwaway game. Doesn't want to play it. He sent his probes and took his hand off the keyboard. And here comes six probes straight across the map. He is attacking with all his probes, and he's going to try and target down. Nesty doesn't realize it. He pulls one drone off, and he takes out one drone immediately. It's just drones versus probes. Who is going to win? Neither has time to recharge. Nesty with a couple extra drones and some target firing wins the game, and Naniwa manages to throw away the game in 1 minute and 26 seconds. His unpredictable character was also seen in the way he plays StarCraft 2. He could easily do something crazy, and this match versus Hyun was the moment when his weakness turned into sheer power. The score was 2-2, and both players could easily outplay each other in macro, and there was no need to do something special. But Naniva still goes for the most dangerous strategy pretty much for no reason, and this is bold and risky at the same time, but it became history. Sporting down to the bottom right hand corner, we have our blue Protoss representing the Alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Naniwa! He's proxying the gateways, and John hasn't spotted it. If he goes for double hatchery before pull, this is going to oh be my disastrous God. for him. He I has thought no he idea. would do it! I thought he would do it in this final clutch game! This is all... This. Oh, Naniwa, you are a crazy man. I knew Naniwa had balls of steel, but he's just confirming it once again. Oh my time God. after time, he's there going for crazy builds in final games, in very important games, in high pressure games. Hyun has no idea this is going down. Oh. These are 15 supply. He's going for the hatchery. The he's going for the hatchery. Oh, Naniwa in one of the most clutch games of all time. This could happen. He's trying to scout out for the proxy at the natural, but at the same time, taking that expansion, he has no idea, guys. He has no idea. I think. I think in this game, this final game... Oh, he's going to go for the double hatch. He's sending out another drone. This no. is disastrous right now for no. There is almost no way he's going to hold if he takes the third base. Only cats could pull it off. Oh, my... Well, here we go, guys. Um, as you can probably tell, right now, Hyun knows nothing about this. And Naniwa is going to start chrono boosting his first zealot. He's going to be getting a second one very, very soon. With perfect chrono boost, he's going to have three zealots very, very soon. You can't uh, deal with this! He doesn't even necessarily it have to go with just two. He could wait for a third one, but if he knew, he would go oh, straight and he the drone! Goes, got it. The drone! He knows! He knows! But he doesn't have a pull. What does he do? He throws down the pull. He throws down the pull. The I zealots mean, are now on the way. They're going to do a lot of work. They're going to go to town on these drones, but Hyun is going to micro furiously he, against this. He can't sell the third hatchery. Oh, the Zealots here trying to be surrounded. He doesn't want to get that strand. He does get it. One of those Zealots will end up dying off pretty darn quickly. But at the same time, he is not mining at this point. Very little is incoming here for Hyun. He's going to have very little to make any circlings. Yeah, he has no money behind this. He's making extra drones, which is a mistake at this point. Three Zealots are out. They're going to start slicing up those drones. Those drones don't oh, even know what to do uh, he against has, those. He, he actually cancelled his natural. He cancelled his natural. He knows he needs money to deal with this. But a lot of drones are dying off. Two more Zealots are going to come out very soon. If he keeps these Zealots alive, if he keeps them alive, then he can get back in that great round there, though, by Hyun. Oh, this is so close. He needs to start a spine and some Zerglings. He's going to start the spine behind it. his mineral line. Uh, four Zerglings are on the way, but two Zealots are there, and two more are on the way for They need Naniwa. to start work, they need to start work, these two Zealots, they're gonna go into town for it, and he has seven pro drones left against nine probes. The Zealots are going to work, 
and all those throws are almost dead. He finds the spine. He's going to kill that off as well. More Zerglings are on the way, but three Zealots against this. Yone is down and out. Yone is going to die. And Naniwa with a proxy to get in game number five is going to be victorious. GG, ladies and gentlemen. Naniwa advances on to the grand finals in an amazing best of five. A proxy to get in game number five. Naniwa. This guy is not scared to do what he has to do. Scarlet has always been a great player, but she was also sometimes critical of the Protoss race. Indeed, in How to the Swarm, ZVP matchup was a problem for many Zergs, since there were so so many Olens and Cheeses, they were pretty difficult to counter. And Scarlet even used the nickname Toss Imba during WCS Global Finals 2013. However, she could also perform really well as an off race on Protoss. During MLG Anaheim 2014, deep in the playoffs bracket, she faced Korean Zerg Don Regu and lost the first map in the best of three series. And despite being on the brink of elimination, she chose to play Protoss, and it was just a wild moment. When you said practicing Protoss, I thought you meant practicing against Protoss, and I was like, well, that doesn't make sense. She's, all, she's against a Zerg opponent, right? But she actually has Protoss selected to play. Good luck, have fun, let's see what happens. <laughs> Now, Scarlet, of course, is a charming troll. Let's that see, we're is. in the countdown. She's chosen Protoss. She can't switch. Are you serious? <laughs> She's playing as Protoss, Acer Scarlet, making a Protoss appearance for the first time ever. What on earth? Now, if she just cannon rushes, that's going to be awesome. Let's hop into the game to find out what's happening. <laughs> what? Wait, no, we got to go into the game and catch this dialogue. Yeah. DRG says re-re, and Scarlet says no, play. Question, seriously? Well, down, this should be fun. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, the last standing foreigner, uh, the hope of Protoss. From Team Acer, it is Scarlet! The Queen of Cyblades. <laughs> oh, the Queen of Cyblades. This is ridiculous. Scarlet is going for just an all of a sudden, I don't play Zerg anymore. I'm going to go for seven gate. Look, look at DRG's vision, though. He knows that there's one gas, but that's the only tell that he has for aggression. He's certainly not expecting this, especially when, when the Overlord scouts in the main and sees no additional pylons where, where Scarlet could really build that many units. Oh my god. The warping has begun. Cats, the power of Protoss. It's a real. Oh my god. There's, wait, in production, there's been no speed upgrade. <laughs> there's been no Roach War implanted. And, what uh, is yeah, going with on? <laughs> I mean, with no speed upgrade, the Stalkers are going to be so powerful on this map, Sean. Yeah. The, the Stalkers can kite the links forever on or off of creep. And uh, she will go off creep, uh, missing a volley here and there, but that's not the biggest deal in the world. This pine will help a lot, though, Sean. I mean, I think Scarlet has to have had a soul read on Dong Rei Gu, but I've seen DRG hold this off before. He just builds masses and masses of slow links. Do you think he's going to be able to do it this time around? Five Queens is going to help a lot. Focusing one down, but the transfuses are there. That uh -oh. was one of the queens with the most energy. That is Scarlet a lot of Zerglings. Micro. Scarlet needs to get more Lings in. There's too many transfuses happening, and I think Dong Rei Gu is just going to overwhelm this, but Scarlet continuing to apply pressure. The queen count is very high up at six. Needs one last shot on that single queen. She's managed to keep the, the Stalkers alive this entire time, so that's also very important. The Celts are just tanking for the links and trying to get the Stalkers to do damage, but the additional Queens for Don Regu are doing so much work, and this might be the, the unexpected factor that Scarlet perhaps was, wasn't accounting for. Scarlet is uh, on the verge of losing this attack. The transfuses are very close to being empty. Scarlet seems to have broken through, but the Zergling count is about to come through to full. No, Scarlet, pull back. Scarlet speed's almost done. Look out! Oh! Oh, the Queens on Creep are going to help out a lot, but they're all low on energy. More Cellar Warping in. That's going to help out a lot to tank the, the Zerglings. Oh my god, Sean, what are we seeing? Well, I mean, there's just too much Transfuse. The Zergling count continues to grow and grow and grow. Queens in production everywhere. Darn Ragu hasn't even really missed an Inject yet. You know what's funny, though? Darn Ragu is actually behind in workers right now. Darn Ragu behind in workers? What, 29 workers? This is going to be an increasingly close fight. If Scarlet wins with this, I don't know how hard wow. I can face Palm, but I'm going to try. 
Wow, oh. and, and there's no more links out right now. What? There's 18 on the way, the queens are getting pushed back. Oh my god, Dong Regu is gonna be shaken after this if he loses to the power of Protoss. He should just forfeit the other match if he loses here. I mean, the, it, it, it's possible to have one win count as two. We're going to oh, see... No! Oh, no! Scarlet gets surrounded. The one thing she needed to avoid, one of the Stalkers is going to fall. But we're seeing the Zealots at the front line still absorbing a lot of damage. The battle continues to go onward. Yeah, no more drones have been produced for Don Rigu, so... It's, it's increasingly hard for him to defend this. If Scarlet gets some momentum, it's all about that. And one more Queen falls. The Queens what are getting pushed back. Earth? There's always Sturglings on the way. I don't even know how Dong Ragu's injecting with all these Queens here. Well, Dong Ragu is just... He, he's got one play, and that's to keep making links, but his production is about to be stilted. The hatch falls. I have a feeling Scarlet is not going to relent. <laughs> one of the most important hatcheries as well, his, his forward hatchery. Now he has to retreat possibly back to the, to the natural. I don't even know if he wants to drop a Creep Tumor right now. He needs to save all that energy for Transfuse Scarlet. She just is continuing to build Zealots, continuing to build Stalkers, continuing to just apply more and more pressure. The Queen energy. That's this a large is... number of links, though. He's been waiting and waiting for the time to get the good surround. Scarlet is gently oh! microing back and not going <laughs> to do it. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> oh, Scarlet. Scarlet is just... Scarlet has experienced the power of Protoss. Scarlet against an MLG champion. A, a record GSL holder, champion. A GSL champion. A multi-tournament champ. One of the best Zergs in the world. What's also cool about that, she switched back to Zerg on the third map and won the whole series, leaving DRG completely puzzled. If you ever feel like you know everything about StarCraft 2, watch some of the SOS matches. But for hardcore fans, even his unique strategies still cause a deja vu feeling. At least we all thought that until we saw the games against Bunny in GSL. In that match, SOS showed once again that there is just no limit for this man. It was absolutely crazy. Uh I think SOS has shown the widest variety of play with Protoss that we've ever seen. Is that correct? I think it is. Yeah. He basically has done yeah. every kind of strat conceivable. Yeah, and some actually that were inconceivable. Okay, okay, okay! Okay, well that just, that went directly into, I, dude, I can't even believe this, you know, that... He literally just made a nexus. I can't even believe this. In his base, and now he's making a pylon, a mana pylon. What is going on? He is an that. alien. The heart palpitations I would be having is Bunny right now, where I'm like, oh my god, I'm on TV, I'm on TV, I don't know what he's doing, I, love I don't that know what he's, he's doing, not, oh my god. I love that he's not reacting very much. Warpgate is so far off, like, is this supposed to be... The only thing I can think is, like, are we recalling? That's right? the only thing I can think of right now. I'm like, no, he needs to make another probe like, out of that. Look at that this, so he's actually, he's hitting the command center in the natural. Like, do you force units to go up and attack the command center? Or the Nexus, rather, and this might then be the cancel, craziest force a thing cancel in the natural. Like, is that what this is? This might be the craziest thing we've ever seen. He has two Nexuses. It took taking. ten years for us to get to this moment. This is what so is weird. he doing? I guess it has to. Why be is he hitting right? the depot instead of the command? Does he know already that he's got the command? Like, does he, he finishes it? It finishes. Okay. I mean, there's no reason to make one and cancel. I want him to good. chrono boost something at home. Wow. Oh my god, he just he wow. just recalled this to a Depson. What? I don't even know because it takes three shots to, to one shot, right? This is well I, I, I Terran seems to have enough though, right? I don't know what's going on, man. But the Nexus isn't dead yet. Is he gonna recall DTs in Nexus? I think is so. That, is that Nexus? Is there any possibility that that's well, still there? If he's hitting the Nexus, he's he... making probes out of it. He's making probes out of the Nexus in Buddy's base. He can make another pylon. He can make another pylon oh of warp DTs. Oh my god! I can't even believe we're seeing this. He needs to make a pylon with a shield battery to reheal the Nexus. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the Nexus, 
is certainly going to go down now. How far out are the DTs? They are too far out to get the recall done. He's only got a Stalker right now, Tasis. He has a Stalker fighting a Cyclone <laughs> back at home. Does he know about the probe? He does not know about the probe! <gasps> This is this is madness. crazy. This is this is the craziest. This thing is the next level. I think I've ever cast. It took ten years. I think the players were better at Wings of Liberty. Well, this is so sick. This is so crazy. He doesn't have energy at the natural. He has thirty-five energy in the main. Oh my Two god! He's gonna win with this. Are coming in. He's gonna win with this. I I am just staring at Bunny's face right now. SOS. So many Come on. so many wrinkles on this guy's brain. Look at this. Oh my god, he's gonna get one scan tasis. And he actually I think oh is gonna save both. He can go to the bottom. He doesn't no kill way. him. No, no way. way. Okay. So I can't even believe what I'm seeing here. Bunny just had a Nexus made in his I base like that made a probe to make a pylon this strategy, and lost to it. This strategy sounds like uh, a script for a B-grade esports movie. Yeah. You know, uh, of, of the strategy that the guy uses to win in the finals, and it's like, yeah, that's not how the game works. And then SOS does it, and I'm like, oh. Dude, you know what? I think that SOS got pissed when Classic had that cool Blink DT thing at BlizzCon. He's like, no, yeah. I got something better. Watch yeah. this. <laughs> you, want, you want GGs DTs in the main? GG. I'll show you how to get oh, them there. Oh, my God. That's one for the history books.